This prayer summit, organized by the Southern Kaduna Christian Leadership Forum, led by Apostle Emmanuel Kure in Kafanchan, is an annual event meant to seek the face of God for the restoration of peace in a region bedeviled by protracted insecurity. Prominent indigents of Southern Kaduna present at this gathering include a former military governor of River State, General Zamani Lekwot, religious leaders, serving and former state and national assembly members, as well as traditional rulers from the region. Prayer Summit, which has the theme Arise and Move Forward, features songs, ministrations, and prayers for Southern Kaduna, the state, and the nation at large. We have sadly witnessed how our beautiful landscape is dotted with mass graves. However, it is time to move forward and rebuild. The event also provides a platform to discuss issues affecting the region and the way forward. We are children of God, God has made it possible to be God-fearing people. And nobody, I mean nobody, will ever check who we are. We have decided to work together. We have bills that we have sponsored together. One of such is a bill to establish federal medical center in Southern Kaduna. For the convener of the prayer summit, Apostle Emmanuel Kure, and other speakers, they tasked the federal government to do more in stopping the incessant bloodshed of innocent citizens by bandits and terrorists. The world is tired of it. Our people are tired of it. It's no longer beneficial to anybody. So I will call all the elders of all the lands to join hands together and break the curse. We also know that Southern Kaduna is a place that has suffered a lot, a lot of uh, brutality in Nigeria. And therefore, every uh, right-thinking Nigeria will have a thought towards Southern Kaduna. The Kaduna State Governor, Senator Ubasani, who is represented at the summit by the Administrator of Kafanchan Municipal Authority, Mrs. Phoebe Yai, believes that to achieve peace and security in Southern Kaduna, dialogue and genuine commitment is key. We appreciate the people of Southern Kaduna, the leadership of the Christian Association. He appreciate the entire people of the state for living at peace with one another. He also called on them to continue to pray for the leadership and for those in authority. He also called on them to be their brother's keepers because without peace, there will be no development. For many years, Southern Kaduna has been plagued by incessant attacks by bandits and terrorists, resulting in the loss of hundreds of lives and displacement of many people from their communities.